Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramahansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai Paramahansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramahansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai Paramahansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Parmansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai Parmansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Guru Jai Paramahansa Yoga Nanda Jai Guru Jai. No. Later. service today is in honor of the birth of Paramahansa Yogananda in 1893 on January 5th. So let's stand for an opening prayer. The voice of God. I know. The voice of Paramahansa Yogananda calls to us through his living spirit in our hearts to awaken in his divine presence. How will he find us when he calls? Awaken, ready. <laughs> okay. <laughs> And when he asks us to dedicate ourselves to him ever more perfectly, how will he find us? Awake and ready. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father. Heavenly Father. Divine Mother. Divine Mother. Friend, beloved God. Friend, beloved God. Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ. Babaji Krishna. Babaji Krishna. Lahiri Mahashai. Lahiri Mahashai. Swami Sri Yukteswar. Swami Sri Yukteswar. Beloved Master. Beloved Master. Paramahansa Yogananda Ji. Paramahansa Yogananda and saints of East and West. And saints of East and West. We invoke your living presence. We invoke your living presence. Divine Mother. Divine Mother. Join us in our celebration. Join us in our celebration. Of the birth of thy son. Of the birth of thy son. Paramahansa Yogananda. Paramahansa Yogananda. And as many as will receive him. And as many as will receive him. Will he give the power? Will he give the power to become self-realized? To become self-realized. Om. Om. Peace. Peace. Amen. Amen. So let's remain seated. We'd like to. I mean, be seated. I mean, remain standing. Okay. <laughs> We'd like to perform the seven recitations of two of India's greatest, most ancient mantras. The Gayatri Mantra, a mantra for enlightenment, and we'll say it seven times, and we'll offer into each of the recitations clarified butter ghee for the purification of our heart's desires. And then we'll do seven recitations of the Maha Mnitinjaya Mantra, a mantra for uh, liberation, enlightenment and liberation of all souls. So we will play the voice recording of our founder, Swami Kriyananda, uh, in each of these. And as best you can, either feel the vibration, which is very, very high vibration, and internalize that. Or if you know the words, join us. Oh, you have it. Okay. Oh. 
ओम तत्सावितुर्वारणीय मार्गो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो सावितुर्वारणीय भर्गो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो सावितुर्वारणीय भर्गो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो सावितुर्वारणीय भगो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो मं भूर्भुवा स्वा ओ सावितुर्वारणीय भगो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो सावितुर्वारणीय भर्गो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो सावितुर्वारणीय भर्गो देवस्याधीम धियो यो न प्रचोदया तो त्रयंबक यजामहे सगंधि पुष्यवाटन पूर्वाक बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृतत्वाहा ओ त्रियंबक यजामहे सगंधि पुष्यवाटन पूर्वाक बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृतत्वाहा ओं त्रियंबक यजामहे सगंधि पुष्टिपाटन पूर्वाक बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृतत्वाहा ओं त्रयंबक यजामहे सगंधि पुष्टिपाटन पूर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृतत्वाहांबक यजामहे सगंधि पुष्टिवाटन पूर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृतत्वाहा त्रयंबक यजामहे सगंधि पुष्टिवाटन पूर्वाकमिव बंधना मृत्योर्मुक्षीयृतत्वाहा 
ஜாமே சகந்திம் புஷ்டி வார்தனம் ஒருவாருக்கிவந்தனம்ிதாங்க <laughs> We can take our seats. <laughs> We're going to do some Om Swahas. And ask our, um, pardon me? We're going to do some Om Swahas. Sure. As soon as we're done. The ancient Rishis were a lot quicker than we. <laughs> Okay. It's a lot of karma I've gone up in smoke. So <laughs> we like to finish the uh, fire ceremony with chanting Om Swaha. Swaha is self. So offer the self into the fire. So join us if you like. Om Swaha. Om Swaha. the holy family will be seated over here can krishna priya can they sit on the edge here and our firemen you, and you we're going to need the the gloves so um yeah there you go and the choir is going to sing a beautiful song called oh master you're welcome to join along singing and while they're singing we want to give you the opportunity to make a flower offering to the holy child representing paramahansa yogananda Oh, oh, oh. 
AKA skits taken from the life of Paramahansa Yogananda. One when he was a um, teenage boy in the ashram of his guru, uh, Swami Suryakeshwar. And uh, just to give it a little bit of introduction, you may, if you read his now famous autobiography, know that after a few months of being with his guru, Suryakeshwar, he ran off to the Himalaya uh, to find God but was unsuccessful and returned home. We'd like to reenact that. And it has a deep significance for us because his basic teaching and the work of Yogananda in the world has for its message that we don't have to escape. We reject this world and run off somewhere to find God in our homes, in our families, at work, in school, etc. God is with us always. And so our players today are Honorable Steve Bonnell as Paramahansa Yogananda, a young monk, and the esteemed uh, Zach Abbey as uh, Swami Sri Yukteswar, his guru. So, let's begin. Oh, and the famous Ram Gopal Mozambar by the incomparable Bruce Davis. <laughs> a silent cave in the Himalayas and live there, I will gain enlightenment much faster that way. The mountains cannot be your guru. The hill folk live there, but they are not enlightened. But Master Ji, it is a sacred mountain. I will go there and find a good place. So 
hot and I'm no closer to finding Ram Gopal Babu. Oh, I must find him, I must! He'll show me how to find a good Himalayan cave. Young Yogi, Young Yogi, Young Yogi, Young Yogi. Mountains cannot be your guru. But don't worry, because you're willing to go to the ends of the earth to find enlightenment. The guru appears nearby. Do you have a room where you can be alone and close the door? Like St. Francis in his grotto? <laughs> well, yes, I do. That'll be your king. That's your sacred mountain, like St. Francis in Laverna. St. Francis? He's my patron saint. Thank you, sir. <laughs> I'm your master. Very good. Now I give you samadhi. Eternity and I, one united ray, a tiny bubble of laughter. I am become the sea of mirth itself. Good. Now let us sweep the balcony and walk by the Ganges. like to share with you from Yogananda's early life as a boy. Uh, many of you know that his mother passed away when he was still young, and it was quite traumatic for him. In this reenactment, we learn by example and by his example, whereby the Divine Mother came to him later in life to declare that his mother, birth mother, was in fact she. And the lesson for us is that Divine Mother is our birth mother in all different forms. We have Nilanjala as, as uh, Mukunda, as he was, his birth name, as his mother, and young, young Steve Bunnell as Paramahansa Yogananda, and Harsha, Nilanjala's son, as the younger brother, Sananda.
I'll make some for you today. I don't want you to eat the sweet sold in the market. Now sit quietly. Mukunda is sitting motionless. See how his face shines with divine light. Someday he will be a great yogi. He will carry many souls to God's kingdom. guiding me to the arms of the infinite. The Cosmic Mother will protect you. 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 Yes, it's she, the Divine Mother, she who made the Yes, it's she, the Divine Mother, ruler of every heart's desire. Love more ancient, bliss eternal, may our hearts soon be merged in thee. Yes, it's she, the Divine Mother, she who made the universe. Yes, it's she, the Divine Mother, ruler of every heart's desire. Love more ancient, bliss eternal, may our hearts soon be merged in thee. Love more ancient, bliss eternal, may our hearts soon be merged in thee. minutes of silence, closing our eyes, just up and shoulders down, feel the Divine Mother's presence in your heart. That presence is beauty itself, love eternal, bliss unending, and it resides silently within you, within all creatures. Be still now and know that she is there your very own. Well, I was raised in a tradition where when it's your birthday, everybody in your family gets wished a happy birthday. And so on Yogananda's birthday celebration, I wish all of you a happy birthday as well. Christ asked Babaji Krishna to send a great one to the West. And this morning, I just want to take a few minutes 
to give two examples that Yogananda used to give about why Christ sent him to the West. And both of them are in stories about Krishna that Yogananda used to love to tell. The interesting thing to me in my Dutch heritage is both of these stories are about cheese. <laughs> I think Krishna must have been Dutch in one of his incarnations. <laughs> anyway, so Yashoda, the stepmother of Krishna, I think I talked about her at Christmas too. She was cooking in the kitchen and Krishna was just a small child, maybe four, five years old. And he loved cheese. And there was this giant piece of cheese on the counter. In India, that would have been paneer, right? Paneer cheese. And so she was going to cook with that, but Krishna came along and grabbed this big piece of cheese and stuffed it in his mouth and started to run away because he knew his mother would not like that. So she came after him, and he was running, and he put that whole big piece of cheese in his face, in his mouth. And she was worried because she worshipped baby Krishna as her god. And so she was worried that he was going to choke with that giant piece of cheese. So she started to try to open his mouth. And she couldn't open it. And she worked harder and harder. And finally, she pried it open. And when she looked in, she was stunned because she didn't see any cheese. She saw the tunnel of eternity. She saw all the universe, many, many universes, floating in that tunnel of eternity inside her baby Krishna. And she closed his mouth. She said, oh, Lord, please, please, I can't take this. Please, let me just worship you in the form of my little son. You see, some of us, need to worship in the form of something familiar and see God as something close, someone close and familiar to us, a father or a mother or a son or a daughter, a parent, a grandparent, a beloved. And some people like to contemplate the infinite. And you know what Krishna teaches us and Christ taught as well, is both are okay. We can worship God in whatever way is dear to our heart. The important thing is that we love God. And it's going to take as many forms as there are people. And that is the way that it should be. And so whether East or West, whether Krishna or Krishna, as they used to call him, or Christ in the West, it's all the same. The underlying spirit essence is all the same. And in the other story, Krishna was a grown man. And he was living on the other side of the river Jamuna from his gopis, the female disciples. And those gopis knew that he loved cheese. And every morning, they would make him cheese, a fresh batch. And then they would go across the river Jamuna, and they would feed it to Lord Krishna. Well, this one morning, they were doing that. And they got finished making the, the cheese, the paneer. And then they went out, and they realized that the river Jamuna was in flood, and they couldn't cross. And then one of the gopis remembered that Vyasa, a very great disciple of Krishna, lived in a hut just nearby on their side of the river. And they thought they would go and ask Vyasa to make a miracle happen so they could cross the river. They went to Vyasa, and they asked him, please, sir, can you make a miracle so we can bring the cheese to Krishna across the Jamuna? And Vyasa got sort of angry. He said, Krishna, Krishna, always Krishna. Why does Krishna get all the cheese? Why don't I get some cheese? 
And the gopis didn't know what to say. They made the cheese for Krishna. But if Vyasa was going to bring them across the river somehow, you know, maybe he could have a little. So they said, OK, you can have just a little bit. And Vyasa started to eat. And he ate, and he ate, and he ate until he was stuffed. And then he started to get up. And oh, he was heavy. And he was trying to go. There was just a little bit of cheese left for Krishna. And he started to go to the river. And Swami Kriyananda tells the story that when Yogananda used to tell it, he had great fun walking like a heavy man <laughs> to the river Jamana. And he said, River Jamana, if I have not eaten, part. And the gopis thought, this is ridiculous. He just ate all this cheese. And he says, if I haven't eaten, the man is crazy. And just then the river parted. These big walls of water and the little part pathway down the middle. And the gopis ran across the river to the other side to Krishna. Krishna wasn't there where he usually was waiting for them, so they went to his cottage and they looked inside and Krishna was lying there going, oh. I said, Krishna, Lord Krishna, we find we're a little late, but we brought you your cheese. And Krishna said, oh, I couldn't possibly eat any more cheese. I'm stuffed with cheese already. And the gopi said, how can that be? We're the only ones who bring you cheese in the morning. And Krishna said, but that rascal Biasa across the way has been feeding me cheese all morning. And they realized that Biasa was so in tune, so at one with Krishna, that as he was eating, he was thinking of Krishna all the time. So it was Krishna who was getting the actual benefit of the food of the cheese that he was eating because he understood, and the gopis now understood, that God is the doer. And that we are able, as Riemann was saying earlier, to be in this world and act with God. And in so, we are in that divine presence with God all the time. We don't have to push. God, everything away in order to experience God. We can see God in everything and know that God is the doer in everything. And that is what Yogananda came to the West to give us, the techniques of inner communion so that we could have our own direct experience of God and the wisdom to know that the teachings of East and West are the same underlying reality. Blessings. Let's see. I'd like to have our offering now. Please take what you would like to give and hold it in your right hand. Let's pray together. Divine Mother, we offer to thee the fruit of our labors. Bless this offering, that it may serve as a channel of thy light to truth seekers everywhere. So this soundless roar doth come when drowse if matters dreary drum on shores of bliss so booming breeze all earth all heaven all bodies shake the bumblebee now hums along baby home doth softly sing his song from the call is sweet, is time the watery God to be. Cords bound to flesh are broken all, vibrations burst and meteors fall. The hustling 
heart the boasting breath. No more shall cause the yogi's death. The God of fire with fervor sings. Om Om, his joyous harp now rings. Prana, God with power sounds. The wondrous bells of soul The star divine is seen aloft. Subconscious dreams have gone to bed. Tis then that one doth hear Om's dream. Oh, upward climb the living tree. Hark to the cosmic symphony. From home, the soundless roar from home. Raja Yoga uh, Intensive starting at the end of January. So if you haven't taken that class yet, it's a great way to learn about meditation and yoga. It's comprehensive. It covers uh, just about everything that we do here. So uh, it's highly recommended. Um, we also have the retreat coming up, Retreat to the Heart of Silence and on Whidbey Island in February. The deadline to register is January 18th, but it's filling up fast. So if you're interested, be sure and get your registration in as soon as you can. And last but not least, we have meditation teacher training starting in February. So if you're interested in learning to teach meditation or deepen your own meditation, check with one of us about the meditation teacher training. Now we'll have the abbreviated children's version of the Festival of Light. Such, O oh Lord, was your promise. <laughs> we get more than one chance. Never give up. <laughs> that happened once when Swami Kriyananda was here and it almost, it went out, it looked like it went out. And then after a few seconds it came back to light on its own. It was really sweet. Gaze upon this light as a symbol of God's love. A prayer of love went up from earth and you responded. A ray of your light flashed out from the heart of infinity, burst downward through night skies of consciousness, and was born on earth for the redemption of mankind in human form. Many times has that light descended, drawn to earth by the call of aspiring love. Your chosen people have always been those of every race, and nation who with deep love chose thee. Please pray with me. O oh Lord, oh with all my heart, with all my mind, with all my soul, and with all my 
my strength. And with all my strength. I choose thy love. I choose thy love. I choose only. I choose only. Celebrate the grace of God that has come anew to earth through our line of gurus, Jesus Christ, Babaji, Krishna, Lahiri Mahashai, Swami Sri Yukteswar, and Paramahansa Yogananda. <clears throat> this grace is eternally channeled to mankind by great masters in every religion. It has been given new clothing by our gurus to reflect man's dawning awareness that matter is only a manifestation of divine energy. In God, all are equal, not only Jesus Christ, Lord Krishna, and great saints everywhere, but even in essence, those on earth who have sinned most greatly. Joyfully, Joyfully lifting up our hearts in song, we pray that we who earnestly seek communion with your light receive it in our lives abundantly. Please stand. Yeah. Father, Mother, Friend, our God, of you who feel so inclined to come up to the altar and receive the touch of light from the masters. As you approach, offer a prayer of gratitude to the infinite Christ in whose love our line of masters have descended that we might all come to God. Pray too for the grace to share with all as you have received, for you are a part of all that is. May the light of Christ the infinite consciousness shine upon you. Om Christ, Amen. Om Christ, Om. 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 Oh. 
stand and send out to all the world the blessings we've received.
beautiful, oh God, beautiful. We'll invite it downstairs for snacks. And if you are new, this was an unusual service. I guarantee you it'll be different next week <laughs> and the rest of the year. Um, but there are some packets of information that you might want to take home with you. And we are having an Indian banquet to celebrate Yogananda's birthday that starts at noon at the community in Linwood. And if you've not yet signed up, do check at the front desk in case there's any last minute availability, then you might be able to come. So see you there. <laughs>